guys, thanks for watching today. So I'm so excited that we are transitioning into fall. I love fall weather, I love fall clothing. I am so ready for it to not be hot anymore. I'm so excited. So today I wanted to do a fall inspired makeup look for you guys with the purple smoky eye. I used a couple of purples, browns, and a pink as well. And yeah, so I just wanted to show you guys just a fall makeup look if you needed some inspiration. And yeah, so I also used um, some products from my Ipsy bag. I did this last month where I used one of the products out of the bag. And this month I used about four or five of the products. So I think I'm going to try to do this every month where I do a video that incorporates either some or all of the products. So the one thing that I didn't use obviously was the mask. Um, it's the Glam Glow uh, facial mask and I do want to try this. I'm super excited so I'll let you guys know if I like this product um, that I have been wanting to try some of the Glam Glow products so I'm glad it came in my Ipsy bag. And for my hair, actually I did wash it yesterday and I did put on this Octavio, Octavio Argon Oil, and I did put this on my hair before I um, dried it, so I put it on when it was damp, and the other products in my Ipsy bag were this cream blush, which we used today, and it is Ash Cream Blush, and for my brows, I used the Pixie by Petra Brow Powder, and then for my lips, I used the Trustique, um, lip crayon here in Nantucket Nude. So that's what I used today. So I did incorporate most of my products this month. So if you want to see how I got this makeup look, just continue watching and don't forget to subscribe. Bye. So I'm going to start out using my MAC Paint Pot in Painterly and I'm just going to prime my eyes with this product and I'm using my concealer brush to apply it and then blending it out with my fingers. And then I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar in the color Coconut Cream and just apply this all over the lid and up to the brow bone just for it to have a nice base before we apply all of the other eyeshadow. And then I'm going to go in with a scotch tape and I'm just going to apply this to the back of my hand a couple of times. This is going to help remove some of the tackiness so that way it doesn't irritate the skin around my face. And you just want to line up the tape with your lower lash line and apply. And then of course Faith had to hang out with me while I was filming, had to make her appearance. Now I'm going in with peanut butter and this is more of an orangey shade and I'm applying this to my crease and I'm using this as my transition color. Then I'm going to go in with the color mousse and this is a light brown and I'm applying this into the crease as well just to darken up the transition color. And then now I'm going in with Matte Cranberry, and this is a deep purple. And I'm applying this to the crease and onto the lid, and I'm just going to blend that out. Now I'm going in with Urban Decay Woodstock, and this definitely has more pink in the color. And I'm just applying this all over the lid and into the crease and blending it out with my Sigma E40 brush. And then to go in with the Outer V, I'm going in with MAC Embark, and this is just a matte dark brown. And I'm applying this to the Outer V, and then I'm just going to blend it out. And then to really make the eyes pop, I went back in with Matte Cranberry and applied my NYX Setting Spray onto the brush after I applied the product. And now I'm just packing that all over the lid to give the eyes more of a pop. And then now I'm just going to remove the tape and we have a nice crisp line. And then now for the face, I'm going in with my Smashbox Primer and I'm just going to apply that all over my face. Now I'm going in with my Garnier Fructis BB Cream in the shade Medium and I'm just applying it to the back of my hand and going in with my Real Techniques brush and applying that all over the face. And it is a little bit darker than my uh, face at the moment, but my body is 
darker so this actually matches more of my neck and my chest so that's what you always want to do when you match your foundation you don't actually want to match it to your face you want to match it to your neck and to your chest and just blend everything out And now I'm just going to remove some of the makeup with a makeup wipe remover and apply my lip balm. And then now for my concealer, I'm going in with my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in Neutralizer and I'm applying this in an upward or an upside down triangle and I'm applying it to my forehead, nose, and chin. And then I'm just going to blend that out with a damp beauty blender. Now for my brows, I'm going in with my Pixi by Petra Brow Powder, and I'm going to start by using the spoolie on the brush, and I'm just going to brush my hairs, and now I'm going to go in with the lighter color, and I'm just applying it towards the tail of the brow and just moving my way towards the front, and I'm really just filling in the brows today. I'm not reshaping them. I'm just going to use a spoolie to brush out the hairs again and using the spoolie just helps blend the product so it looks more natural. And then I'm going to go in with the uh, darker color and I'm just applying this towards the tail of the brow and because you always want the tail of the brow darker and then the front of the brow lighter. And so now I'm going in to set my concealer using the banana powder in the Kat Von D contour palette and then now I'm going to contour the rest of my face using the darker color on the bottom right of the palette and I'm just going to apply it with my NARS Eater brush and I'm just going to blend everything out. I'm also going to contour on my jawbone and also on my nose and under my lips. And then now I'm going to carve out, or technically it's called cooking. Now I'm going to take my uh, wedge sponge and I'm using the lighter color in the Kat Von D palette. And I'm just carving out the contour area. And this is just going to clean it up a little bit and make it look more natural. And then now I'm going in with Max Room and I'm just going to highlight the brow bone. And then now for under the eye, I'm going in with the peanut butter color. And then now I'm going back in with the matte cranberry and I'm applying that underneath the eye to smoke it out. And then I'm just going to blend out with a flat brush. And while we're cooking, I'm just going to jam out to some tunes because you want to cook your face for about 10 to 15 minutes. And now I'm going to remove the excess powder from my face and just using my MAC blending brush and just fluff all the product away. Now I'm going in with my cream blush and this is in my Ipsy bag and I'm just going to take some of the back of my hand and then go in with my stippling brush from e.l.f. and apply that to the apples of my cheeks. And then for the highlighter, I'm going in with my Mary Luminizer 
and I'm just going to apply that to my cheekbones and I am applying a generous amount of highlight today. And then not for the lashes, I'm going in with my Ardell Wispies and I'm just going to curl my lashes before we get started and apply some mascara. This is the Rimmel Lash Accelerator. I'm just going to apply a coat of mascara for the base and then now I'm applying my Wispies. And then now I'm going in with the color Licorice and this is just a black powder and I'm just going over the lash line to cover up any of the glue. And then now I'm going in with my Urban Decay Black Velvet Eyeliner and I'm applying that to my waterline. And then now I'm just applying mascara to the lower lash line. And then now for the lips, I'm going in with the Chestique in the color Nantucket Nude and I'm applying this all over my lips. And then I decided that I wanted to line the outer part of my lip with the MAC Whirl just to give it a little bit more depth and that completes the look. And that's a wrap!